introducing the Cadence Ian Gordon range of double-handed fly rods. So Ian, let's take a look at these rods. First of all, we're going to talk about the, the components that we've used. Cool. Um, all the rods are available with this beautiful AAA quality cork. Yep. Top quality cork handles. Um, we've got the ALPS reel seats, which we've proven to be really reliable, very strong, hard wearing, and also accept most reels on the market. Yep. Um, when it comes to the guides, we've gone for sea guides throughout, which are top quality guide. We've got these double leg stripper guides. And throughout the rest of the rod, we've got these double legged snake guides. I have always liked snake guides over the single leg guides, especially in salmon rods, yeah. uh, uh, James. Um, I, I just think that there's a good element of stent. I've seen some rods with the single ones um, where, they, where they kind of fall out and slacken yeah. off. This is the, you, That for me is a much stronger you definitely got a option. stronger yes, guide on yes. a salmon rod with those. Yes. One thing to reference, we're also going to offer this EVA handle, yep. uh, which goes against tradition. You know, <laughs> some people are going to turn their nose up at it. But during testing, we found these to be great, haven't we? Well, I mean, there's nobody more traditional than, than I when it comes to uh, double-handed rods and yeah. salmon fishing, as you know. Uh, however, when you told me about this, I was kind of intrigued. And, and I thought, no, I won't like that. Having tried it... I have to say, it's now actually my go-to handle on the 13 foot 6 rod. Well, that's amazing to hear you yep. say that, Ian. Yep. But the great thing is we're going to offer this as an option. Yep. Uh, cool. And that's kind of the concept. We're going to talk in a bit more detail about the concept of the different sections for the different yes. rods in, in, in later videos. But uh, it just all adds up to the bespoke nature of the rods Absolutely. that we've developed, doesn't Absolutely. it, Ian? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So I think what we'll do... Um, now is go through each of the rods in a bit more detail and explain the applications and your thinking about why you developed the rods like you did. We'll do it, we'll do it, yes. So Ian, throughout this range you've gone for six piece configuration. What's your thinking there? Well, six piece obviously for travel. Yeah. I mean six piece is nice and short, even in the longest roads it's nice yeah. and short. It goes into a suitcase and is easy, easy to travel. However, that wasn't the first. Uh, thought, or it might have been first equal thought, yeah. with the fact that because it's six piece, I know I can change particular parts of each rod yeah. uh, and make that rod a totally different action. So, so it suits different fishing situations, uh, lines, casting techniques, that sort of thing. It's very versatile. Well, it was fascinating to me, and I think this is something quite unique. Uh, you know, when you were testing these rods over the last 10 months, you know, to adjust the, the blank construction to get the strength and action that you wanted, we learned that you could, own, by just changing two sections on a six-piece rod, you can dramatically influence the action, can't you? Absolutely. And the feel. Absolutely. So I think if we take this example here from the 14-foot-6 uh, rod, this is the, the standard configuration. So obviously the rod itself is six piece, yeah? Yep, that's it. And this rod will be available to buy as six pieces. But what we're talking about now is the facility to adjust that action and feel. Through changing. So these are our demo uh, sections, aren't they? Yep, they are. Ian? They are. So that's why we've got these coloured whippings on colour to coding. distinguish the difference. Yep. The production rods won't be like that. They won't. But just to explain, You've got the standard configuration, and in this case, the 14 foot six. What, what it, casting weight would that be? So it's, it's a nine weight. So that's a nine so weight. So that's basically a nine weight in okay. that configuration. Now, if I adjust this rod. Throw that one aside okay. and put that one, put this in, one on. What does it make? It, it now, now becomes an eight weight. It becomes so a softer action it's rod. It's a deeper action. Deeper action rod. Okay. And that type of. For, if you were fishing in the summertime, for instance, yeah. with a, a lighter line, you can yeah. put on a lighter line, more delicate presentation. This so is the just by this is the baby. That, just you by adjusting the that, rod. you totally transform it. Okay. And what about yeah. those sections? And so this ones are the stiffer sections. So this is the, the rod is now acting more like a ten weight rod. Okay. As soon as I put that in, and so I can um, use a like a shooting head line or even a skadget type line yeah. on this. It's, it just beefs the rod up a little. And good for spring fishing, early fishing 
big well, flies, etc. I, I just think the concept is nah, really great. exciting. It's a, it's it's a really, really, really good it. concept. I know yes. you really like it yep. because oh. you know when you when you've got clients, you've got customers, you can dictate the rod exactly to their to style, their perhaps style. where they're going to be fishing. Yes, absolutely. So we need to talk about that in more detail. We shall, which we will. But I think that's a key factor to consider about yep. this range of rods that you've developed for us. It's versatile, James. Yeah, absolutely That's what brilliant. it is. I mean, it's versatility personified in a product. Fantastic. I think one thing we should just finish on, yep. um, which I think is absolutely perfect, is the colour. Yep. You know, uh, I just think this colour is beautiful. I've, I've always liked that colour, yeah. James. Since, since ever I started dealing with rods, I yeah. really like that colour. And so when we came to colour, it was just a no-brainer for me. Uh, and I think it always stands out in the salmon crowd, that one. Well, it's beautiful. Lovely. It's it's not too... No, it's not, it's not garish. Yeah. It's not in your face. It's, it's, it's just classic a nice and classic it's beautiful. Colour. So yep. I think they yep. look absolutely brilliant. Superb. Let's take a look at the rods now in the different lengths and talk about their attributes. We shall. Yep. Introducing the Cadence Ian Gordon 15-foot <laughs> double-handed spay rod. Okay, Ian, let's have a look at the 15-foot version. Tell us what you're thinking of when you were developing this rod. Well, James, when I was developing the 15-foot uh, uh, rod in this range, I was thinking about something slightly different. Everything seems to be going down the way, so rods seem to be moving toward 13 and a half, 14 feet, where a few years ago, 15 feet was the norm. Yeah. However, we're on the river spay, and on the river spay, you need in my opinion, a good spear rod. A good, what constitutes a good spear rod? Yeah. This, the action of this rod is, in my mind, perfect for casting longer spear lines. So yeah. by longer spear lines, I mean lines of 55, 60, 65 and more feet yeah. long. The action of the rod is, is slow and deep, yeah. but it's very, very powerful. However, it's not just spear lines. Because of that action, it actually suits shorter headed lines as well, like shooting heads. Um, and we do tips. often offer a bit of a variation on this action as well, we do. don't you? With, we our, do. yep. with our system, with the sections. Absolutely. So what's the the stiffest action, if you like? What would you rate that so, as in terms of a, a line rating? So in terms of a, a line rating, if we're talking about a spay line, which yeah. is very, this is, when you're thinking about the 15 foot road, yeah. James, Think about spay fishing more than anything else yep. right at this moment. But the longest, um, the uh, stiffest application on this one would be like an, an 11 weight. Yeah. So if you had an 11 weight spay line and you had the stiff application of this rod, it would be absolutely perfect. If you had the, the 10, 10 weight, obviously yeah. 10 weight and yeah. 9 weight the same. Um, if I were going for a like a shooting head line, yeah. uh, I'd probably go with the standard one, the ten weight on yeah. this. It's a wee bit more flexible in the butt mm -hmm. end, and uh, but this one is very much a spay rod. It's yeah. got an action that has been totally designed in such a way that it's perfect for spay casting, for the traditional spay casting. Yeah. So in summary. If you use a 15-foot rod, mm -hmm. this is your rod. Yep. Uh, you know, you might be fishing on big rivers like the Spay. Yep. It might be your local river, or, the, or it might be just the length of rod that you prefer. But with the different configurations, we've effectively got three different line weights. So we can match the action to your style of casting and the lines that you want to use. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you think about this this one in the, in the light configuration, I think summer fishing, yeah. again, for... for Casting these fine lines, yeah. really perfect. And I think it's fair to say the 15 foot rod's gonna allow you, it's gonna give you plenty of scope on a big river like yes. this, isn't it? You're yeah. gonna cover the water yeah. very effectively with a spay rod yep. and a spay line. And I know that's perhaps fallen out of favor a little bit. Uh, it has. the shooting heads, but yep. I believe like you, that this is a, a great opportunity and a great rod matched with the right line to really maximize your fishing. No doubt about it. And, and because you have the three different sections in this, we can marry it to your technique as well. If, you're, if you happen to favour spay fishing yeah. and spay line fishing, the, the, having the, the variation at the lower end of this road, it'll, it'll tweak your technique for 
in any rivers like this. Wonderful, Fantastic. Ian. Yep. So that's the 15 foot Ian Gordon Spay Rod. Check out the details on our website. So Ian, let's have a look at the 14 foot six model. And this is gonna be available in three different configurations. We've got an eight, nine, and a 10. Yep. Tell us about the situation and why you developed this for the 10 weight. So basically the 14 foot six is the workhorse of the, the range, James. And um, we've got it in a 10 weight. Yeah. So we've got the, the changing configuration at the lower half of the river, the, the road that makes it a 10 weight. Yeah. It's the stiffest configuration. And it's the one that I would use if we're fishing in the springtime, the autumn time, we're using heavy lines, sink tips, that type of thing. You know? And would you use that, would you use that typically with a shooting head or a skagit line? I, I, the, the road itself has been designed with shorter lines in mind. Yeah. So it's a, it's a modern action, yeah. it's a more progressive action, yeah. it's a fast action, yeah. um, and very much the shorter lines um, in mind with this particular road. Okay. Yep. Well, as you say, I think this is going to be a, a key length in the range. It is. Um, can you think of a situation where you'd be maybe using the eight weight configuration? Yeah. So you're not perhaps using such heavy tips and heads, am I right? Interestingly, I am... Um, I used it last summer yeah. in the lower spay. The river was very low, and I put on a seven, eight weight spay line yeah. on the eight weight of this, and it's a nice deep action and just beautiful. It fished absolutely perfect. Uh, uh, a shortish seven, eight weight spay line. Well, I think that's brilliant because it just shows the versatility of what we're trying to achieve in every given length with the different actions. It's all about versatility, and, the whole range. And obviously we're going to make sure that we put all the relevant information regarding head weights, yep. head lengths, the perfect combination for yep. each version, yep. very clearly on our website. Very clear, and not forgetting casting techniques through video on yeah. the website as well. That'll be, that'll be important as okay, well. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Great, no problem. So, Ian, moving on to the 13 foot 6 version. This one's available, again, in three different configurations. We've got 7, 8 and 9. What was your thinking when you were developing this rod? So, James, this was another workhorse, for sure. Like the 14 foot 6, it, it's, it's very versatile. We've got, we've got line weights of 7, 8 and 9. It's a 13 foot 6 rod. It suits the shorter common and uh, and it is a 13 foot six now is very very popular isn't it's, it it, it kind of reflects the modern styles yeah, yeah. cast in the modern sh shorter headlines shorter headlines, headlines. that's it uh, that's definitely it yeah. the f the f where the 15 foot was once the go-to road this 13 foot six because of the shorter headed lines uh, and you can cover loads of even bigger rivers with this you know it's a it's a very versatile piece of kit well absolutely so I guess in the in the more powerful, stiffer configuration, the nine weight, you'd yep. still be using that with with some pretty heavy uh, shooting headlines, some heavier tips. Yep, absolutely. I, I know a lot of the guys that are using this types of roads for their early salmon fishing now. They're not even going to 14 foot six. They're going for this 13 foot six yep. roads, and they're using their he heavy, like Skagit type lines, shooting heads with sink tips, yep. uh, sinking lines even in that configuration, yep. And like all the other rods, you know, the, the versatility of the blank with the different configurations, I guess you'd be using it with smaller flies in the summer, uh, better presentation, longer, not lighter lines, yeah? It, it's just great because you can then make this like a seven weight yeah. and, that, and that's going to turn it into a lovely, very, very light because of the blank yeah. summer road, beautiful road to use for that lightweight fishing in the summer and for smaller rivers as well. You know, so it's it's very, very versatile. That Beautiful rod. Yes, absolutely. So that's the yep. 13 foot six Ian Gordon double handed fly rod. So, Ian, the 12 foot six version. Tell me about this. So, again, James, it's a, it's a small river road. It's a, it's a very lightweight road, extremely light in the hand. Um, so, if you're fishing rivers in the summertime, um, when the 
even rivers this size in the summertime, they shrink down and you're fishing very light tactics. This, this is a, a lovely rod, but not only that, the action of the rod makes it such that if you were fishing for like grills in the summertime here, yep. you're gonna get some great fun playing fish that are five, six, seven pound on that. Whereas yeah. with a bigger rod, it's sometimes no, no so much fun, you yeah. know? And I guess that does enable you to fish with a bit finer leaders, yeah, smaller absolutely. flies that can be necessary when yep. you're fishing for those types of fishing, including sea trout, I guess, as well. Yeah, for sure. A great a great bit of kit for sea trout. But but again, in the springtime, because we've got the three configurations on here, when the stiffer configuration, what we can do is we can you can put light skagit type lines on that. Mm. And for small rivers, fishing skagit lines, absolutely the perfect kit. And again for travel abroad. Well, Perfect. It, it's another sweet ride. It just makes you smile when you're it fishing does. with it. It does. It really, really does. And I love playing fish on this road. I was playing fish on this road uh, on the Fintorn last year. A small river. Perfect for that. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Yep. So, Ian, that's the 12 foot 6 version. That's it, James. That's it. Yep. <laughs>